Good morning, everyone. It's Mr. Kaminsky. I thought I'd show you a little bit about how things look. So I've got us here in student view, thus the Pepto-Bismol uh, pink or purple or whatever that is down there. All right, we're on Concert Band's home page, but this works just as well in Wind Ensemble. So um, I will keep links to everything relevant as much as I can up here at the beginning of the home page just to make things easy for you. But you can always go into the calendar and find out. So again, I'm doing this with a view for concert band, but it doesn't really matter. You can choose any calendar that you like, um, whatever you need, but uh, we'll use concert band as the example. So let's say that you're going to make a recording, then you would go to your assignment and um, you can just do it right from here, of course, but then we can go into the assignment itself. And here we are in the assignment. And again, we've got our practice tracks that um, you can access. You can also find these in modules, all right? But we're going to focus today on how to actually submit your recording for credit or no credit. So we're going to go to Charms. We're going to go into the student sign in and again everyone's login is marshfield's oops, music that's for everybody and then we do that and then we get here and then you enter in your password which is probably your school password you know what it is so i know what mine is i have a, a student account i'm a student in both of my classes and then jazz band so here we are on the home page of Charms. And again, you could use the Charms app on your phone. Some of you are doing that. Either way, you're going to go to Recording Studio. And to do this, I'm going to ask, as usual, to do it through Assignments. And so just a quick reminder, here it is right here, Assignments. So if you go to Assignments, you'll see why. Now, I've got all these assignments because, again, I'm in all three groups. Um, but um, let's see here. We're going to do the Westbrook, West, Westbrook March. So let's just see if I can find that. I should have practiced this before I made this video. Uh, there it is right here. So if I go to this in assignments, here we are. Now, you'll notice that this one, like we did with the marching band stuff, has a um, an accompaniment track. And that's why I want you to do it through assignments so that you actually get the accompaniment track. So you must please do it through assignments. You could also do it under accompaniment while you're practicing, um, but do it through assignments. Now, again, one of the reasons why I like charms is you can adjust the playback volume. All right. You can adjust your recording level. I see how far down I have mine set. And that for most band instruments is the right place to be. I'm just going to use my voice and you'll see everything comes out. And the other thing, too, is that you can actually adjust the tempo. Um, and if you need to slow it down, by all means, do that, because I want you to give us a good recording. If you do, I want you to message me and let me know how much you did it. So, for example, if I were to put this down, it'll tell you what the percentage is. So let's say that I put it down 10 percent. There you go. Um, let me know so that I don't have to spend a couple of extra minutes figuring out how much you're to slow down. I'll be able to tell right away, but if you could let me know, that'd be great. So I'm going to do this example with things slowed down by 10%. So um, again, as you know, because many of you have recorded or you've all recorded, we're going to go here to the record button. But when it starts through when you when it starts you're going to hear because this is the first time since marching band that we've done this with an accompaniment it's going going to play one big difference that i want you to do while you guys are at home is i want you to use headphones i'm going to say that again i want you to use headphones or a headphone um, if you're finding it hard to hear yourself play and it's driving you nuts, keep the headphone over one ear and behind the other. So um, if I'm going to make another video to sort of, sort of show you uh, show you guys what I look like while I'm doing that to fully explain, um, I may do that. But here, I'm just going to give a sort of a quick example. So we've seen this before. So I, it's time for me to get ready. Again, I'm just going to record with my voice. Here we go. And I'm not using headphones right now. All right, so that's enough of that for right now. And so that's that. As always, you want to click here and just give it a quick listen to make sure that it actually recorded. 
I'm not using headphones right now. Oh, it looks like it did come out. Now, again, you want to use headphones um, while you're doing this so that, unlike what I just did, you actually can't hear the accompaniment track in your recording. All you'll hear is you're playing. All right, I'll try to make a video sort of demonstrating that. Now, again, as you know, you can take multiple t uh, takes. You can click on the little red X right here, or the white X in the red circle, to get rid of a, tr uh, a take. Um, make sure now you can see right here if you stopped in the middle because you just made too many mistakes you know you're not going to keep a track use this back button to take you to the beginning of the accompaniment that's something you haven't had to think about in a long time because again we haven't used accompaniment since marching band okay so hit hit this back button so see what i did now see that we've got our zero again so if i were to make another take it won't start at the 17 second mark like I had it before. It'll start at the beginning of the track. So that's something to keep in mind if you're going to do multiple takes. So my advice to you is to practice a couple of times um, before you actually start to do it. And then you might want to sort of log out and log back in just to make sure that your recording is going to go through. Because nothing is more frustrating than laying down a track and then having it lost and then me telling you, oh, your track didn't come through. I just have something blank. Um, that's frustrating for both of us. So um, it logs you out without letting you know that it did it. And that's kind of frustrating for everyone, including me. I do apologize for that. So my advice, honestly, is if you just need to do a bunch of practicing, go back, use the practice track where you can hear yours. What does that look like? Well, I'll show you really quickly. We have this right here, and um, we've got this here, and let's say that I played the, um, let's say that I play clarinet two. And as you can hear, the clarinet two part is louder than everything else, but you can still hear everything else in the background. So I would practice with that. The other thing that you can do for practice is just go to accompaniment right here. And let's say that we had the Westbrook March. And you can just play with, and you don't even have to, you could just play it. And I'm still set at tempo 90% right here. And you could just hit play and you could play with it at 90% or 80% if you wanted to. And so here your part isn't highlighted. It's just the general backing track for everybody. But once you get to a certain point, you'll sort of be able to, you know, do what you want. So... I hit pause there again back if you want to make it to back to the beginning and you could do a bunch and it wouldn't matter if it logged you out or, or not. But if you do this for, say, 20 minutes or something like that, I would hit refresh and see if you're still logged in. I would exit charms and go back in when you're ready to record and then go back in through assignments and go back here. I'm not sure that you need to take those steps, all right? Um, but again, then do that, and then you know how to submit. So because we've gone over that, and you've submitted many um, things through the year through Charms for me already. So again, make sure you listen. Make sure that there's actual uh, audio in there, um, and then hit that. Sometimes we're in, when it's spinning and it doesn't stop hitting the refresh button, and we'll sort of make it go through. Um, and then you can go and check and just make sure that it, it went through. So that's everything for right there. I think this video is long enough. If you have any questions, just let me know. We're going to try to stay as relaxed as absolutely absolutely possible and we've got plenty of time and uh, we'll see what happens with this but I do want you to do it through here um, again use headphones so that I don't hear the recording in the background I'd like to take your recordings and I'd like to put them together for a virtual performance if possible it may not work but we'll see and uh, so that's what we're gonna do for right now so good luck and again just get in touch with me uh, about any problems that you have and we'll see if we can work them out all right